good afternoon one and all today i'll uh, i'll continue as a problem on the solving the differential equation by using laplace transform method solve the initial value problem d cube plus 3d squared plus 3d minus 1 into y is equal to 2t squared e to the power of t given y of 0 equal to 1 y dash of 0 equal to 0 and y double dash of 0 equal to minus 2 say d cube plus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 y can be written as y triple dash plus 3y double dash plus 3y dash minus y equal to 2t squared e to the power of t. Now you can apply the Laplace transform on both sides. This can be written as L of y triple dash plus 3 into L of y double dash 3 into L of y dash minus L into y dash is equal to 2 into L of t squared e to the power of t. Sir, so, L of y cube expansion is use the formula by using the Laplace transform derivative formula s cube into L of y minus s squared into y of 0 minus s into y dash of 0 minus y double dash of 0 plus uh, 3d squared that is plus 3 into s squared L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus 3 into s into L of y minus y of 0 minus L into y is equal to here to L of 2 into e t squared e to the power of t by using the definition of the Laplace transform 4 divided by s minus 1 whole cube. Now, you can take the L of y common s cube L of y and uh, minus 3 s squared L of y and minus L of y, you can take the common what you get s cube minus 3 s squared plus 3 s minus 1 into L of y or, uh, then you can apply the initial conditions then y of 0 equal to 1, you can substitute y of 0 is equal to 1 that is minus s squared if you substitute y dash of 0 is 0, y double dash of uh, 0 equal to minus 2 you can substitute y double dash of 0 is equal to minus 2 that is minus s squared plus 3 s minus 1 is equal to 4 into s minus 1 whole cube. s minus 1 whole cube into L of y uh, is equal to s squared minus 3 s plus 1 plus 4 divided by s minus 1 whole cube. This can be rewritten as L of y is equal to s squared minus 3 s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 whole cube plus 4 divided by s minus 1 whole to the power of 6. Because you can take s minus 1 whole cube, you can transfer to RHS, it becomes L of y is equal to s squared minus 3s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 whole cube plus 4 divided by s minus 1 whole to the power of 6. Now, y is equal to L, L you can transfer to uh, RHS, then it becomes L of inverse, L of inverse s squared minus 3s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 whole cube plus 4 divided by s minus 1 whole to the power of 6. Now, you can solve by partial fractions. s squared minus 3s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 whole cube can be written as a divided by s minus 1 plus b divided by s minus 1 whole squared plus c divided by s minus 1 whole cube. So, and now multiplying throughout the equation by s minus 1 whole cube that is equal to s squared minus 3s plus 1 is equal to a into s minus 1 whole squared plus b into s minus 1 uh, plus c into 1 only. Then you can solve the find the a b c you get a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, c is equal to minus 1 then it becomes y is equal to L of inverse 1 divided by s minus 1 minus L of inverse 1 by s minus 1 whole squared minus L of inverse 1 by s minus 1 whole cube. Now, plus L of inverse 4 divided by S minus 1 whole to the power of 6. This equals L of inverse 1 by S minus 1 can be written as by the inverse uh, formula then e to the power of t you can write. L of inverse 1 by S minus 1 whole squared can be written as you can use the shifting property t into e to the power of t. Then L of inverse 1 by S minus 1 whole cube then you can use the shifting property e to the power of t into L of inverse 1 by S cube. L of inverse 1 by S cube can be written as t squared by 2. Similarly, L of inverse 4 by S minus 1 whole to the power of 6 can be written as e to the power of t into L of inverse um, uh, 4 divided by L, L of inverse 
4 divided by s to the power of 6. This can be written as e to the power of t into t to the power of 5 divided by 30. This is the required result. Next, solve the equation y triple dash plus 2 y double dash minus y dash minus 2 y is equal to 0 under the condition y of 0 is equal to y dash of 0 equal to 0 and y double dash of 0 is equal to 6. So, here first the given problem can be written as L of y triple dash plus 2 into L of y double dash minus L of y dash minus 2 into L of y equal to 0. Then um, uh, up, uh, apply the Laplace transform um, on both sides that is you can use the Laplace transform derivatives formulas. Then L of y triple dash value is you know already s cube L of y minus s square into y of 0 minus s into y dash of 0 minus y double dash of 0. This is uh, the L of y triple dash uh, formula plus 2 into similarly can apply L of y double dash. L of y double dash can be written as s square into L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 that is L of y double dash. Similarly, minus the L of y dash is minus s into L of y plus that is minus and minus plus y of 0 minus 2 into L of y equal to 0. Now, we can separate the uh, group the terms first then L of y value is s cube and L of y value is 2 s square and L of y is minus s and L of y is minus 2. You can take out L of y common s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 into L of y. Then use the uh, in conditions under the conditions y of 0 and y dash of 0 you can substitute in place of y of 0 wherever the y of 0 is there you can substitute 0 even y dash of 0 also 0 then y double dash is 6 minus 6 you can transfer to RHS it becomes plus 6 s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 into L of y is equal to 6. Now, that s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2 you can transfer to uh, RHS it becomes L of y is equal to 6 divided by s cube minus 2 s square minus s minus 2 uh, that is 6 divided by s cube plus 2 s square minus s minus 2. Now, you can factorize it that becomes you know, s minus 1 into s plus 1 into s plus 2. Now, you can solve the partial fractions. If you solve the partial fractions, 6 divided by 6 divided by s minus 1 into s plus 1, s plus 2. This can be written as a divided by s minus 1 plus b divided by s plus 1 plus c divided by s plus 2. Here multiplying throughout the equation by s minus 1 into s plus 1, s plus 2. If you multiply throughout the equation by s minus 1, s plus 1, s plus 2, then LHS is 6 is equal to a into here s plus 1 into s plus 2 plus b into here s minus 1 into s plus 2 plus c into s minus 1 into s plus 1. See so now your intention to find the values of A, B, C value, we can give the values S is equal to minus 1, S is equal to minus 2 and put S equal to 0. See so here if you put S is equal to minus 1, if you put S is equal to minus 1, then 6 A into here A becomes 0, then B also, uh, B is my minus 1 minus 2 and minus 1 plus 2 is 1 plus c becomes 0 then minus 2 minus 2 you can transfer then b is equal to 6 by minus 2 we get b is equal to minus 3. So, after getting b is equal to minus 3 put s is equal to minus 2 if you put s is equal to minus 2 then what you get 6 is equal to a into s becomes 0 or b by a becomes 0 and b is equal b is also 0 and c is you are putting s is equal to minus 2 here minus 3 here minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 then minus into minus plus that is 6 is equal to 3 c 3 can transfer then 6 by 3 is equal to 2 c is equal to 2. Then uh, if, well, now you can put s equal to 0 if you put s equal to 0 LHS is 6 a here this is 0 into 2 a 
here s and s will get k 0 minus 2 b then s and minus c now you can substitute c is e 6 c is equal to a value you have to find out um, a value you have to find out you know b value and c value b value you can substitute 2 a minus 2 into b value is minus 3 c value is minus 2 then 6 is equal to 2 a minus to minus plus 6 minus 2 here 6 and 6 will get cancel then 2 a is equal to 2 then 2 and 2 will get cancel a is equal to 1. Sir so after getting the values of a is equal to 1 and b is equal to uh, minus 3 and c is equal to 2 you can substitute in this equations. This equals a value a value is 1 by s minus 1 plus b value is minus 3 by s plus 1 plus c value is 2 divided by s plus 2. See so after getting this now you can apply the inverse if you apply the inverse what you get this is equal to l inverse of 1 by s minus 1 minus 3 into l of inverse 1 by s plus 1 plus 2 into l of inverse 1 by s plus 2. So, here you know the formula l of e to the power of l of e to the power of a t is equal to l of e to the power of a t is equal to 1 by s minus a then e to the power of a t is equal to l of inverse 1 by s minus a using this formula here this can be written as l of inverse 1 by s minus 1 can be written as e to the power of t minus 3 into here e to the power of minus t plus 2 into e to the power of minus minus 2t this is the required result. Solve the differential equation, solve the differential equation y double dash, solve the differential equation y double dash minus 3 y dash, y double dash minus 3 y dash uh, plus 2 y is equal to 1 minus e to the power of 2 t, 1 minus e to, uh, e to the power of 2 t under the conditions, under the conditions under the conditions y of 0 equal to under the conditions y of 0 equal to 1 then y dash of 0 equal to 0 you can solve by Laplace, Laplace transform method. See so now you know that L of this you can apply the Laplace transform on both sides but you get L of y double dash minus 3 into L of y plus 2 into L of y is equal to L of 1 minus e to the power of 2 t. See so now you know L of y double dash can be written as s squared into L of y s squared into L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 minus 3 into L of y dash is means s into L of y minus y of 0 plus 2 into L of y is equal to here L of 1 is 1 by s minus L of e to the power of 2 t is 1 by s minus 2. See so now you can group the term this is L of y here also L of y here also L of y you can take common then s squared minus 3s plus 2 into L of y you can write. Then remaining is use the conditions y of 0 equal to y of y dash of 0 equal to 0 and y of 0 equal to 1. So here y of 0 equal to 1 means this is minus s y dash of 0 is 0. Then here y of 0 is 1 that is minus into minus plus 3 then this is equal to 1 by s divided in minus 1 by s minus 2. Now this is minus s this is plus 3 you can transfer to that side what do you get? So here this is equal to s squared minus 3s plus 2 into L of y is equal to 
um, I can transfer that is S minus 3 in plus 1 by S minus 1 by S minus 2. So, here S squared minus 3 S plus 2 L of Y, this term we can transfer to RHS, then L of Y is equal to S minus 3 divided by S squared minus 3 S plus 2 plus 1 divided by S into S squared minus 3 S plus 2 minus 1 divided by S minus 2 into S squared minus 3 S plus 2. So, here now L of y is equal to S minus 3 divided by S squared minus 3 S plus 2 can be written as S minus 1 into S minus 2, S minus 1 into S minus 2, S minus 1 into S minus 2. You can write S minus 1 into S minus 2 is the factorization S squared minus 3 S plus 2. Similarly, here plus 1 divided by S into here S minus 1, S minus 2. Next minus 1 divided by S minus 2 into S minus 1 into S minus that is S minus 2 whole squared. So, here after getting this equation, first you can solve the partial fraction separately each term. So, here now S minus 3. S minus 3 divided by S minus 1 into S minus 2 can be written as A by S minus 1 plus B by S minus 2. Multiplying throughout the equation by S minus 1 into S minus 2, then S minus 3 is equal to A into S minus 2 plus B into S minus 1. See, and now your, my, your intention is to find the values of A and B. Put S is equal to 2, you get B value. Put S is equal to 1, you get A value. If you put S is equal to 1, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, this is A. Here 1 minus 2 is minus 1, then B becomes 0, then A is equal to 2. See, and now put S is equal to 1. If you put S is equal to, sorry, put S is equal to 2. If you put S is equal to 2, A becomes 0. 2 minus 1 is minus 1. A is 0. Here 2 minus 1 is B. B is equal to minus 1. Then here 2 divided by S minus 1 minus 1 divided by S minus 2. This is first uh, term um, uh, solving the partial fractions. Similarly, you can find out second term. What do you get? 1 divided by S into S minus 1, S minus 2, this can be written as A by S plus B by S minus 1 plus C divided by S minus 2, multiplying throughout the equation by, multiplying throughout the equation by S into S minus 1, S minus 2. So, here if you multiply throughout the equation by S into S minus 1, S minus 2, then LHS is 1 is equal to A into S minus 1, S minus 2 plus B into S into S minus 2 plus C into S into S minus 1. Now, again you have to find the values of A value, B value, C value, put S is equal to 1. If you put S is equal to 1, A becomes 0, C becomes 0, then 1 is equal to, here S is equal to 1, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, then B is equal to minus 1. So, here B is equal to minus 1, N is equal to, N is equal to 1. Similarly, S is equal to 2. If you put S is equal to 2, here A also 0, B is also 0, then C value is, this is 1 is equal to here 2, then 2 minus 1 is 1, that is 2, you can transfer, then C is equal to 1 by 2. Then S is equal to 0, if you put S is equal to 0, here B becomes 0, C becomes 0, here 1 is equal to, this is 0 minus into minus plus, 2A, 2 you can transfer, A is equal to 1 by 2. Now, you know A value is 1 by 2 and uh, B value is minus 1 and C value is 1 by 2, you can substitute in these equations. Then what do you get? Here this equals A value is 
1 by 2 into s b value is minus 1 by s minus 1 uh, c value is plus 1 by 2 into s minus 2 this is the value. Now, you can again you can solve by third term is solved by partial fractions what you get here 1 divided by 1 divided by s minus 1 into s minus 2 whole square a divided by s minus 1 plus b divided by s minus 2 plus c divided by s minus 2 whole square. So, now multiplying throughout the equation by s minus 1 into s minus 2 whole square then what you get here this is 1 LHS a into here what you get s minus 2 whole square plus b into s minus 1 into s minus 2 plus c into s minus 1. So, now you can put s is equal to 1 and s is equal to 2 and s equal to 0 you get the values of a, b, c. If you put s is equal to 1, if you put s is equal to 1, LHS is 1, here a value is put s is equal to 1 minus 2 is minus 1 that is a, here b is 0, c is 0, a is equal to 1. Next, put s is equal to 2. See here if you put s is equal to s a becomes 0 and b becomes 0, 2 minus 1 is 1, then c is equal to 1. See here again put s equal to 0 entire equation, then 1 is equal to here s is equal to 0, here minus 2 squared is uh, that is plus 4a, here my, this is your minus plus 2b, then this is minus c. Now you know a value, c value, find here 1 is equal to a value is 1, 4 plus 2b, my c value is 1 that is minus 1 you can transfer, then plus 2, then 4 also you can transfer, then what you get minus 1 that is 2 minus 4 is equal to 2b that is minus 2 is equal to 2b, 2 and 2 will get cancelled, b is equal to minus 1. Now, you can substitute here, this is equal to a value, a value is 1 by s minus 1 plus b value is minus 1 by s minus 2 plus c value is 1 by s minus 2 whole square. Now, the partial solving the partial fraction is completed. Now, you can write, you can substitute here. Here what you get? L of y equals, L of y equals, this partial fraction is 2 divided by s minus 1 minus 1 by s minus 2. Next, second um, uh, partial differentiation is 1 plus 1 by 2 s plus 1 by 2 s minus 1 by s minus 1 uh, plus 1 by 2 into s minus 2. Next, third partial fraction is this minus of open the bracket here what you get 1 by s minus 1 minus 1 by s minus 2 plus 1 by s minus 2 whole square. Now, you can apply the inverse transform. So, if you apply the inverse transform, then y is equal to L of inverse 2 divided by s minus 1 minus 1 by s minus 2 plus L of inverse 1 by 2 s minus 1 by s minus 1 plus 1 by 2 s minus 2. Next minus L of inverse 1 by s minus 1 minus 1 by s minus 2 plus 1 by s minus 2 whole square. So, now you can apply the inverse then 2 take common here 2 take outside L of inverse 1 by s minus 1. L of inverse 1 divided by s minus 1 can be written as e to the power of t minus here L of inverse 1 by s minus 2 is e to the power of 2 t. Next L of inverse 1 by 2 s here L of inverse 1 by 2 a 1 by 2 is constant then you can take outside then 1 by s then plus 1 by 2 then L of inverse 1 by s is 1 minus L of inverse 1 by s minus 1 is e to the power of t here plus 2 into e to the power of 2 t minus open the bracket L of inverse 1 by s minus 1 is e to the power of t minus e to the power of 2 t here a s minus 1 whole square that is e to the power of 2 t e to the power of 2 t 
into here L of 1 by S squared is T. So, here some terms will get cancelled here. Here this is equal to 2 e to the power of t minus e to the power of 2 t plus 1 by 2 minus e to the power of t plus 2 e to the power of 2 t. You can multiply this minus sign minus e to the power of t plus e to the power of 2 t minus e to the power of 2 t into t. So here, here minus e to the power of t minus e to the power of t can be written as minus 2 times of e to the power of t. Here plus 2 e to the power of 2 t will get cancels. So, here, here e to the power of 2 t, here e to the minus e to the power of 2 t will get cancels. Then what is the remaining term? Here 1 by 2, here 2 e to the power of t plus 2 e to the power of 2 t minus e to the power of 2 t into t, this is the required answer. Next method is solving the simultaneous differential equation by using Laplace transform method. Solve the simultaneous equation using Laplace, Laplace transform dx by dt plus y is equal to sin t, comma dy by dt plus x is equal to cos t given that x is equal to 1, y equal to 0 when t equal to 0. So, here, here you can two equation is given that is dy by dt dx by dt dx by dt plus y is equal to sin t and another equation is dy by dt plus x is equal to cos t. So, here this can be written as dx, here what you get dx plus y is equal to sin t can write because d by dt can be written as capital D that is a differential operator. Similarly, here dy, dy plus x is equal to cos t. Now, you can apply the Laplace transform formula. What is the Laplace transform formula? This dx can be written as L into x, L into x dash plus L into y is equal to L into sin t. Here L into y dash plus L into x plus is equal to L of cos t. So, you know L of x dash can be written as yes, L of x dash can be written as by using the Oh, for uh, tra Laplace transform derivative formula s into l s into l x s into l x minus x of 0 plus l of y is equal to l of sin t l of sin t can be written as Laplace transform sin t can be written as s square plus 1. So, here second equation similarly L of y dash means S into L of y plus L uh, M uh, plus minus y of 0, S into L of y minus y of 0 plus L of x is equal to L of cos t can be written as S divided by S square plus 1. So, here simultaneous equation is given you are solving you get two equation that is in terms of y and x you have to write the answer. So, here after getting this equation use the boundary conditions, what is the condition is given x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 and y equal to 0, the given condition is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0, then what you get if you put x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 means so here x of 0 is 1 and y of 0 is 0, so here x of 0 equal to 1 you can substitute here s into l of x minus 1 plus L of y is equal to 1 by S square plus 1. Here S into L of y e minus y of 0 value is 0 plus L of x is equal to S divided by S square plus 1. See and now this minus 1 you can transfer, this minus 1 you can transfer to RHS, it becomes S into L of x plus L of y is equal to 1 by S square plus 1 plus 1. 
then this equation as it is s into l of y plus l of x is equal to s divided by s squared plus 1. So, yeah, now you can call C equation 1, this is called C equation 2. Now, you can solving these two equation, you can eliminate either eliminate in L of y, you can eliminate L of y. First, first equation you can multiply by s, first equation multiply by s, what do you get? s squared L of x plus s into L of y is equal to s divided by s squared plus 1 plus s. The second equation you can write as it is what you get s into L of y, s into L of y you can write L of x plus s into L of y is equal to s divided by s squared plus 1, you can subtract, you can change the sign, if you subtract you can change the sign what you get here minus s into plus s l y and minus s into l of y will get cancelled by s by s square plus 1 minus these two term will get cancelled. See what is the remaining term here s squared this is l of x here also l of x you can take common s squared minus 1 into l of x is equal to remaining is yes this is yes s squared minus 1 l of x is equal to s, then l of x is equal to s divided by s squared minus 1. So, here l of x is equal to s divided by s squared minus 1, then keep it x as it is, l you can transfer to uh, RHS. What do you get? This becomes x is equal to x is equal to l of inverse s divided by s squared minus 1. Now, you can apply the L of inverse, then L of inverse uh, S by S squared minus 1 can be written as cos hyperbolic A t, cos hyperbolic T, then cos hyperbolic K t, then x is equal to cos hyperbolic T. Now, you know x value, now we have to find out the y value. See, how to find out the y value, you can differentiating with respect to T here if you are differentiating with respect to t or c here before that two equation is there d x by d t plus y is equal to sin t and d y by d t plus x is equal to cos t is a given problem. So, here you know x value, now you have to find out the y value. Now, you can you can find out y value, you can use this formula, this equation, what you get? y is equal to d sin t minus d x by d t. This d x by d t can transfer, y is equal to sin t minus d x by d t. Now, you can differentiating with respect to t, what you get? d x by d t is equal to cos hyperbolic t can be written as sin hyperbolic t, d x by d t is sin hyperbolic t. See and now after getting sin hyperbolic t, now you can substitute d x by d t value you know sin hyperbolic t, you can substitute here then y is equal to sin t minus d x by d t value means sin hyperbolic t. See this is the y value x is equal to cos hyperbolic t, this is the solution, the required solutions. Next, solve the following differential equation using Laplace transfer method dx by dt plus 4y equal to 0 and dy by dt minus 9x equal to 0 and x of 0 equal to 2, y of 0 equal to 1. See here, the given equation is solve the differential equation, solve the following differential equation using Laplace transfer method d x by d t plus 4 y is equal to 0 and d y by d t minus 9 x equal to 0 and x of 0 equal to 2, y of 0 equal to 1. First, d x by d t can be taken as L of x dash plus 4 into L of y equal to 0. Next second equation is L of y dash minus 9 into L of x equal to 0. So, here L of x dash plus 4 L y equal to 0 can be written as use the Laplace transform derivative formula L of x dash can be written as S into L of x minus x of 0 plus 
for L of y equal to 0 that is the first equation for um, substitution. The second equation is now L of y dash can be written as s into L of y minus y of 0 minus 9 into L of x equal to 0. So, here after substituting the after substituting the Laplace transform derivative formula, now you can use the by conditions. What is the given conditions? X of 0 equal to 2 x of 0 equal to 2 and y of 0 equal to 1. So, here x of 0 equal to 2, you can substitute 2, then it becomes s into L of x plus 4 into L of y is equal to 2, we can call C equation 1. Then y of 0 is 1, you can substitute y of 0 is 1, you get minus 1, minus 1 you can transfer to RHS, it becomes plus 1, then s into L of y minus 9 into L of x is equal to 1, call C equation 2. So, here after getting the equation s into L of x, s into L of x s into L of x plus 4 L y is equal to 2 calls equation 1. Next s into L of y minus 9 into L of x is equal to 1 calls equation 2. See so now you have to eliminate. See so here, here L of x is there, here L of x is there, here s is there you have to multiply by 9, here you have to multiply by s, here first equation multiply by 9, second equation multiply by s. What do you get? See so here, if you multiply by 9, 9 s into L of x, here 36 L of y is equal to 18. Next, we multiply by s, s squared into L of y minus 9 s L of x is equal to s. Yes. You can adding here 9 s L x and minus 9 s L x will get cancel. Then what you get here L of y, here also L of y, here also L of y can take common s squared plus 36 into L of y remaining is equal to what you get here s plus 18. So, here after getting s squared plus 36 L of y that you can transfer, then L of y is equal to s plus 18 divided by s squared plus 36. Now, you can split up into two parts, then what you get s divided by s squared plus 36 plus 18 divided by s squared plus 36. Then y is equal to y is equal to L of inverse s divided by s square plus 36 plus L inverse of 18 divided by s square plus 36. So, here L of inverse s by s square plus 36, 36 can be written as 6 squared, 6 squared can be written as this can be written as cos 60. L of inverse s by s square plus 6 square can be written as cos 60 can write. Here this is also 6 square, here you want 6, then 3 take outside, this is 6, 3 into 3 plus 3 into this can be written as sin 60, then y is equal to uh, cos 60 plus 3 into sin 60. So, here after getting the y value, now you can find out x value. So, here before finding the x value, you have to use the for given formula. What is the given problem? dx by dt dx by dt dx by dt plus 4y equal to 0 and dy by dt minus 9x equal to 0. So, here already you know find out y value, now you can find out x value. So, here y is equal to cos 60 plus 3 into sin 60. So, here cos 60 plus 3 uh, sin 60, now you can differentiating, differentiating with respect to t, then dy by dt equals cos 60 differentiation cos 60 differentiation is minus sin 60 into 6. Next 
plus 3 is constant sin 60 differentiation is uh, 6 into cos 60 this is equal to minus 6 sin 60 then plus 6 into 3 is 18 18 cos 60 this is dy by dt value. See so now we want to find the value of x. See so here you know dy by dt is equal to minus 9x equal to 0 then 9x is equal to dy by dt then x is equal to 1 by 9 dy by dt then x is equal to 1 by 9 you know dy by dt value is minus 6 sin 60 plus 18 cos 60 this is the required result. Solve the following equation, solve the following equation using the Laplace transform method dx by dt minus y is equal to e to the power of t, dy by dt plus x is equal to sin t given x of 0 equal to 1, y of 0 equal to 0. Then dx by dt minus y is equal to e to the power of t can be written as L of x dash minus L into y is equal to L of e to the power of t and second equation is L of y dash plus L of x is equal to L sin t. So, here after so using the Laplace transform derivatives now we are getting L of x dash minus L of y plus uh, is equal to L of e to the power of t and L of y dash plus L of x is equal to L of sin t. See so now you can use the conditions. What is the conditions? X of zero equal to one and y of zero equal to zero. See so here L of x dash can be written as S into L of x minus x zero x of zero minus L of y is equal to L of e to the power of t can be written as one divided by S minus one. Similarly, second equation L of y dash can be written as S into L of y minus y of 0 plus L of x is equal to L of sin t can be written as 1 divided by S square plus 1. So, now can use the substitute the conditions x of 0 equal to 1 and y of 0 equal to 0. So, our first equation S into L of x minus 1 minus L of y is equal to 1 by S minus 1. So, you know, x of 0 you can that is 1 value minus 1 you can transfer it becomes plus 1 s into l of x s into l of x minus l of y is equal to 1 divided by s minus 1 plus 1. Then second equation is s into l of y plus l of x is equal to 1 by s squared plus 1. Then the S into L of X minus L of Y, you can take LCM 1 by S minus 1 plus 1 can be written as 1 plus S minus 1 divided by S minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled. S into L of X minus L of Y is equal to S divided by S minus 1. And the second equation is S into L of Y plus L of X is equal to 1 divided by S squared plus 1 calls equation 1. See so, now after getting this equation s into l of x s into l of x minus l of y is equal to s divided by s minus 1 cos equation 1. Next, what is the second equation? S into L of y, S into L of y plus L of x is equal to 1 divided by S square plus 1 cos equation 2. See here, here only L of x is there, here S into L of x is there. Here only L of y there here S into L of y. You can multiplying the first equation by S. What do you get? S squared into L of x minus S into L of y is equal to S squared by S minus 1. Here S into L of y plus L of x is equal to 1 divided by S squared plus 1. If adding here minus S L of y plus S L of y will get cancels. 
then what do you get? Here of L of x, here also L of x, s square plus 1 into L of x is equal to, what do you get here? Here s square divided by s minus 1 plus 1 by s square plus 1. See so now s square plus 1 you can transfer to RHS, then what do you get? L of x, L of x is equal to s square divided by s minus 1 into s square plus 1 plus here 1 divided by s square plus 1 into s square plus 1 can be written as s square plus 1 whole square. See, now you can solve by partial fractions. This is s squared by s minus 1 into s squared plus 1 plus 1 divided by s squared plus 1 whole squared. You can solve by partial fraction. That is s squared divided by s minus 1 into s squared plus 1 is equal to can be written as a divided by s minus 1 plus b s plus c divided by s squared plus 1. That is s squared divided by s minus 1 s square plus 1 can be written as a divided by s minus 1 plus b s plus c divided by s square plus 1 multiplying throughout the equation by s minus 1 into s square plus 1. Then what is the LHS? LHS you are getting s square is equal to a into s square plus 1 plus b s plus c into s minus 1. So, here if you put s is equal to 1, then 1 is equal to this is become 0, then 2a, then a is equal to 1 by 2, a is equal to 1 by 2. Next, put s is equal to, if you put s is equal to 0, if you put s is equal to 0, LHS is 0, this is 0, you get a, here this is 0, this is you get minus c. You know a value, a is equal to c, then c is equal to 1 by 2. So, here after getting c is equal to 1 by 2, similarly you can find out um, uh, b value, b value equating the quotient of s squared on both sides equating the coefficient of s equating the coefficient of s on both sides what do you get if you equating the coefficient of s on both sides here s squared here minus s minus 1 then c value is again uh, that is um, uh, a value b value is again 1 by b value again is 1 by 2 then you get 1 divided by 2 into s minus 1 plus s divided by 2 into s square plus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 into s square plus 1. Then you can apply the inverse, you can apply the inverse x is equal to 1 by 2, x is equal to 1 by 2, L of inverse 1 divided by s minus 1 plus 1 by 2, s divided by s square plus 1 plus L of inverse 1 by 2, Oh, 1 by s square plus 1 plus 1 by 2 into L of inverse 1 divided by s square plus 1 whole square. So, now you can apply the um, Laplace, uh, inverse Laplace transform formula. Then x is equal to 1 by 2, L of inverse 1 by s minus 1 can be written as e to the power of t. Then 1 by 2, L of inverse s divided by s square plus 1 can be written as cos t. Similarly, L of inverse 1 by 2 s square plus 1 can be written as um, that is 1 by 2 into sin t plus L of inverse 1 by 2, 1, 1 divided by s square plus 1 whole square. Again, you can solve by partial fraction that can be written as 1 by 2 into sin t minus t cos t answer is x is equal to 1 by 2 e to the power of t plus sin t plus 1 by 2 into 1 minus t into cos t. This is the required answer. So, now, uh, so here after getting 
x is equal to 1 by 2 e to the power of t plus sin t plus 1 by 2 into 1 minus t cos t after getting that x value you can find out y value. So, we can differentiating with respect to a t. If differentiating with respect to t dx by dt is equal to 1 by 2 is constant e to the power of t differentiation is e to the power of t only then plus sin t differentiation is cos t then minus uh, 1 by 2 take common 1 into cos t cos t differentiation is again minus sin t then minus t cos t is a product of two function t cos t difference cos t is constant t differentiation is 1 then t is constant cos t differentiation is minus sin t. So, here after differentiating you get dx by dt is equal to 1 by 2 e to the power of t plus cos t minus 1 by 2 into cos t minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus t into sin t. So, here after getting dx by dt, you can use the for given problem. What is the given problem? Given problem is dy by dt plus x is equal to sin t, dy by dt plus x is equal to sin t, then dy by d x you can keep it as it is, sin t you can dy by dt can transfer to RHS, then x is equal to sin t minus dy by dt. Now, you can substitute the values. What do you get? Here, uh, dy by dt equals dx by dt value is 1 by 2 into e to the power of t plus cos t divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus t into sin t. Then y is equal to dy by dt minus e to the power of t that equals you can substitute dx by dt value. What is dx by dt value is? Then y is equal to 1 by 2 e to the power of t plus cos t by t minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus t sin t minus e to the power of t. Then y is equal to what do you get 1 by 2 into e to the power of minus t plus cos t minus 1 minus t into sin t. This is the required answer. Then here d in the dy by dt you can find out dy by dx by dt is equal to y is equal to dx by dt is equal minus e to the power of t. dx by dt value is 1 by 2 into e to the power of t plus cos t divided by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus t sin t. You can substitute in the given equation, then you can require the answer is y is equal to 1 by 2 into e to the power of uh, minus e to the power of t plus cos t minus 1 minus t into sin t. This is the required result. Thank you. Any questions? You can ask the in through email or now or in the next class.